So recently I learned about the Great Lakes for the first time and that was really, really interesting. And learning about that led me on to learning about the story of the Edmund Fitzgerald, the huge, beautiful ship that unfortunately sunk in Lake Superior. 29 people lost their lives. It was a very sad story. It was interesting in a way that people still don't actually know what happened to the boat, as in what caused it to sink. Uh, but leading on again from that, one of my viewers recommended this song. It's by a Canadian singer called Gordon Lightfoot, who I've heard of the name before, but I've not heard any of his music. And this is called The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. So I feel like this is a nice little chain of videos, really learning a lot. Now I get to enjoy some music as well. Recommend more from Gordon. Tell me what you think about him as a singer. How's he thought of in Canada? And tell me what you think about this song as well. Obviously, we're going to have a song here that is of great importance. Uh, learning about history. Uh, let's le let's watch it and we can enjoy it. And this, I chose this video because I think it's got lyrics. So I just want to read the lyrics of the song and see what's being said. The legend lives on from the Chippewa on down Of the big lake they call Gitchagumi The lake it is said never gives up her dead When the skies of November turn gloomy With a load of iron ore 26,000 tons more Than the Edmund Fitzgerald weighed empty that good ship and true was a bone to be chewed when the gales of November came early. That's an interesting metaphor. The ship a was the pride of the American side, coming back from some mill in Wisconsin. As the big freighters go, it was bigger than most, with a crew and good captain well seasoned. Concluding some terms with a couple of steel firms When they left fully loaded for Cleveland Then later that night when the ship's bell rang Could it be the north wind they'd been feeling? His voice is magnificent, so commanding The wind and the wires made a tattletale sound and the wind broke over the railing And every man knew as the captain did too T'was the witch of November come stealing The dawn came late and the breakfast had to wait When the gales of November came slashing When afternoon came it was freezing rain In the face of a hurricane west wind His like writing is so descriptive. You can really see that situation in detail. Brilliant writing for the song in his voice, man. Whoa, magnificent. When supper time came, the old cook came on deck saying, fellas, it's too rough to feed you. At 7 p.m. a main hatchway gave in. He said, fellas, it's been good to know you. Wired in, he had water coming in, and the good ship and crew was in peril. And later that night, when his lights went out of sight, came the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Great, great music as well. Does anyone know where the love of God goes When the waves turn the minutes to hours The searchers all say they'd have made Whitefish Bay If they put 15 more miles behind her They might have split up or they might have capsized They may have broke 
deep and took water And all that remains is the faces and the names Of the wives and the sons and the daughters Lake Huron Rose Superior sings in the rooms of her ice water mansion Old Michigan steams like a young man's dreams The islands and bays are for sportsmen And farther below Lake Ontario Takes in what Lake Erie can send her The iron boats go as the mariners all know With the gales of November remember. Superior, they said, never gives up her dead When the gales of November come early And that was just like a breathtaking song, honestly. Like, I was really engrossed in that music. Everything about it, Gordon Lightfoot. So that's the first time I've heard his voice, even though never mind any of his songs. And just such a commanding, powerful, uh, meaningful voice. Like, what he's singing about has so much meaning, but his voice just, like, conveys it so perfectly. The writing on it, as I mentioned during that song, like, it's like an ode to that whole situation. Like, when you see music today and, like, so much of it's, like meaningless, like just saying words for the sake of it, just making songs that are catchy, whatever. This every line means something in this song. It all has great importance in talking about this situation, but doing it so vividly, like painting that picture so vividly, like you can see every moment or everything he's describing. Uh, he does it so concisely in every line and just it really me has so much meaning in every line. The music itself, and again, like that classic rock music, man, you hear that drum just pulsating there as well at points, the gu electric guitar. Even if this wasn't about the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald, if it was just your normal rock music about whatever, it's still going to be good, good, like excellent, amazing rock music. But the fact it's about such a, like, important situation and a uh, piece of history, especially for North America, just means it's like just a brilliant piece of music. I wonder if this won like any awards or how this was, uh, like how this was thought of when it was released and things like that. And again, tell me more about Gordon. Recommend more of his music. After seeing this, hearing this, I definitely need to hear more, of course, from him. Wonderful voice. And uh, yeah, tell me about the story of the Edmund Fitzgerald. What that means to you. Thanks. <laughs> 